My goal in everything I do is to point people to Jesus. And I must share a very important story. In the early days with the Billy Graham Association, I traveled with the Graham Association for many years. Uh, my hero, one of my heroes, Dr. Howard Jones, I was traveling with him and we had a crusade. We called them crusades at that time, we call them festivals now. And we were having all kinds of problems at the crusade. No one was coming. We had opposition from people who did not want the crusade to be taking place in their town. They were tearing down signs and people were not coming to Jesus. At the time though, I was reading a book called um, This Present Darkness by Frank Parity and Pierce in the Darkness. And I remember having a conversation with Dr. Howard Jones. And I said, I said, Doc, you know what? I'm reading this book. And in the book, the angels were having this conversation. And the angels were saying, we are ready to move, but the prayer covering is not in place. And I remember Dr. Jones looked at me and said, hmm, the prayer covering is not in place. He said, you know what? Okay, let's start praying more. So we started to pray a couple of times a day. And the first day, not much happened, but we kept praying. The next day, the floodgates opened. And I remember playing the piano, giving the altar call. Dr. Jones is on the platform. And we looked, and the platform is I mean, the, it's full. People at the altar weeping, giving their heart to the Lord. And we just looked at each other, and we knew prayer made the difference. And so in reaching people for Jesus, people ask, what's the most important thing you can do? Pray. You see, here's what I realized about pe leading people to Jesus. I cannot save anybody, neither can you. None of us can save anyone. But what we can do is present the message. And in presenting the message, we ask the Holy Spirit to illuminate the message to the hearts of the person, to bring them to Christ. And so I realized the, the importance of praying first. And that's why I pray about every single thing I do. And when I travel around the world and I meet people and I, meet people and I start talking about Jesus, I'm like, Lord, Tell me what does this person need? Because sometimes you just never know.